Hi everybody, Tracy Jo Callen here with Callen's Crafting Studio and in this video I thought I would do a quick tutorial on the 3D bow cartridge. Um, this particular bow uh, I had just decided to put on a couple of gifts that I have coming up for birthdays and um, the Easter holiday. So um, I just thought, you know, it's an old cartridge and um, I've only been cricketing for about a year and a half now and I didn't really know how to put one together until I went through it so I'm sure that there was somebody else out there that might have the same issue so here's a quick quick one on the bow um, so when I did these two I used the pearl paper the Cricut curl pearl paper and they there's actually a setting for the pearl paper I like it it's pretty pliable um, for the example that I'm going to show I just did on some very thin cardstock you would not want to use thick cardstock because we do need paper that's pretty pliable so that you can bend it. The only other thing that you really need for this is a brad. Okay, so I just have some Recollections brads. I have them in various different colors, so I just pulled one of the gold ones out for now. Now, um, I did use my Scotch Advanced Tape Glider to tape the pieces together when you cut it. Um, the way I sized it was I wanted about these bows are three inch bows that are on these two boxes and um, so when I brought the file into design space I made it six inches and six inches folded down is uh, just about a three inch bow. Let me get my little ruler here. I'm pretty sure this is just about three inches going across. Actually it's a little bit bigger than that. It's about four inches so six inches makes a four inch bow. Um, so, but it's a nice size for a little gift box. This box too, this is an actual box that, um, a bracelet came in that I'm giving to somebody, but this one here, I actually made the box and this is the scallop box in the box it up cartridge. So I thought it was really pretty and I cut an extra piece for the top because I wanted to use this pattern paper on it and I put the pattern paper inside. So, um, I'm actually going to put some little, uh, toffee treats in this to send to somebody. So, um, I've already gone ahead and glued all the pieces together except for one because they kind of go together. So you've got the four thinner pieces that I have in the pink and then the bottom pieces are the scallops and there's a small, medium and large and then the center. Okay, so um, this size works really nice with the tape runner, um, although you have to be careful when you lay it down. Just make sure you get it in place because otherwise it's going to tear your paper probably if you try to reposition it. So if you're more comfortable, you can use a, a liquid glue. Um, I certainly would recommend something like, you know, the Zig uh, Memory System two-way glue pens. These work nice and you can, before the glue's dry, you can kind of pull it up or move it around. So, but the way I did this is you want to make sure your points are both facing the same direction. And I sort of just carefully line up the center first with the dots, the two dots and then just sort of like kind of twist if you need to to kind of get them lined up on the ends and then I just go ahead and lay that down just run my finger out to the edge and then once you have the one side done the other one should fall into place pretty well but just be careful as you're laying it down because you do want all of those holes to line up Okay, and then what I did was is I just kind of curled my paper a little bit with my finger. You could use um, the end of a tool if you'd like or a pencil. And so this paper's a little thicker, so I haven't really done it with this kind of paper yet. So we'll see how this goes. Um, and uh, I'm going to work from the inside out. I've seen some other people do it the other way. Uh, I prefer to do it this way. Okay, where did my bread go? There it is. <laughs> So you're going to start by taking it and you're going to kind of curl it around like this and you're going to take your brad and you're going to drop it inside out. So your brad is going to be on the top of the brad is going to be in the inside of your bow. Okay. And you're going to bring this around and you're going to drop it on like that. Okay. And then I just use my finger to secure the inside. So that's the center. Then we're going to start with the smallest one. Now these you need to put with the design side down because we're going to curl the design e each, um, each one of the little tips up. So you just drop your brad right in the top like that, okay? And hold it a little secure. And then you take one of your points and you, they should be kind of curled up so it helps you know which direction you're going in. And you just kind of fold it away from the scallop and around down. And then you put the little hole onto the brad, just like that. 
okay? So you get this nice little sharp point. Take the next one, roll it around and down. Drop it on, on your brad, okay? And you kind of can secure it um, with your finger inside until you're not able to anymore. Bring it around and down. And then do the last one, oh, around and down. So you've got the nice little points, okay? I'm gonna take the next size. Again, you're gonna flip it up, drop it on your brad with the design, uh, your double layer down. You wanna stagger it so you, your points are going in the little section here. So again, you do the same thing. You just roll it around and then flip it. Sorry, I'll frame there for a second. Um, and down, okay. And sometimes these little, um, this particular one, there's a plain one in there. You don't have to have the decorative scallops if you don't like it, but you just have to be careful because sometimes those get a little squished, but then you can go back and just kind of pop them back out. So around and down. I think I'm going to take my finger out of the center and just hold it on the top because the paper is pretty secure. Around and down. Just put it on there. And then the last one, around and down. Okay, so now look how quick and easy that was. And then we're just going to do the last piece. And again, I'm going to stagger it. So I want to get that securely on the brad. Yeah, I'm just going to leave my finger in there for a minute just to hold it. And again, stagger your paper around and down. Turn it around. And down. Kind of work your finger in where you can get it carefully around and down. And then the last one around. Oh, I have one come off. See, if you don't keep them on there secure, so you just want to make sure you hold the tip around and down. And once you get your last one on there, you want to just split the brad and secure it down. So there we go. And then what I do, if I kind of smoosh the center a little bit like I did, I just take some kind of tool and just sort of kind of pop it back up. And you can actually kind of fix any of the little round scallops that you kind of smoosh to. So that's it. So the brad holds it together really well. And then I just used a little hot glue and I popped it on my package. This one I actually made a little scalloped edge piece um, kind of for inside of the lid just by using um, a scallop edge and cut and welding. And I thought that looked kind of pretty. This is actually a birthday present for a friend of mine that I'm going to be seeing soon. And just, you know, took my little cheesy box that it, it came in and really dressed it up nicely. I just love these bowls, especially in a pinch when I don't have any store-bought ones. And um, I thought they were pretty easy and worth doing a quick tutorial on. So I hope everybody enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my page and like this video. And if you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. And I will put the actual numbers of the uh, the image and which cartridges they go with for both the box and the bow. And everybody have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.